So there are so many TV shows that are created from actual books, okay? We are talking about the show Killing Eve and the book series, all right? So keep watching and we'll get right into it. It's Kyla Denaya, and today we are talking all about a book adaptation, okay? So these three books turned into four seasons of the show called Killing Eve, all right? So the first book, Codename Villanelle, No Tomorrow, and then Die For Me, all right? So the author of these books is Luke Jennings. The genre of the book is fiction. The themes of the book are suspense thriller, all right? So I gotta tell you that No Tomorrow is my absolute favorite. This one is so, so good. That's when you really get to see the flirting and the love story between Villanelle and Eve. And what really surprised me about these books is for one, no one told me to watch the show Killing Eve. I remember when Sandra O oh left Grey's Anatomy and I was like, oh, well, you know, I wonder what she's gonna do next. But I, I was never a big suspense thriller murder mystery type viewer. I didn't enjoy consuming the books. I didn't enjoy reading about it. I didn't enjoy any of it. So that's probably why no one told me. But I stumbled upon the show. Blew my mind. It was so phenomenal. So there's a couple of big things in the books that are very, very different from the show. So that's what we're going to talk about. The first one is Nico. Nico is Eve's husband. He is a complete pushover in the show. He has a couple moments where he kind of like gives her a little snarky comment. The books, especially this one. Okay, Nico brings home two goats and he tells Eve, I want a quiet life. I want a chill life. We are not doing all of this. That does not happen in the show. In the show, he kind of laughs about, oh, are you cheating on me or are you an assassin or a spy? Ha ha ha. Well, you know, she was a spy. <laughs> <laughs> she is a completely absent spouse in the books completely now you are reading the books from her perspective so you see her like oh I'm so sorry Nico and I, I you see the remorse that she feels but it doesn't come across in the actual show she feels guilty for being a spy she feels guilty for the fact that she loves her job a little bit more than marriage she feels guilty for the fact that you know Nico does the cooking takes care of the house yeah he has his little quirks but like she loves being with Nico. She loves watching the little habits and hobbies that he has. In the book, she is like, this is my world. It's all mine. Um, yes, I'm married, but that's because I was bored at the time. And so I got married, right? There's even a quote, and I don't remember it exactly, but she basically says like, that was what we were supposed to do. So we got married. The relationship between Eve and Villanelle in the books is so sweet. In the show, it's more of a cat and mouse type game where Villanelle is like, oh, can I string her along? Oh, she seems interesting. Oh, she has this thick, beautiful hair and I'm attracted to women with that. The books, Villanelle is really like, she's bragging about Eve to her girlfriend. Like she's basically telling her like, yeah, we're together, we're sleeping together, but that's my girl. That's the person I love. I break into her house. I smell her pillows. I gave her a necklace. I'm playing and hiding all these little clues so that she can't find me so that we can like stretch out the romantic period and the flirtation. Now, I think because written word is a lot different than watching a TV show, you do get to see the looks that Villanelle has for Eve and how she's longing for her and like that cute little like, oh, you're so sweet little smile that she has for her. But it's really, really prevalent in the books. It's very, very prevalent in a really cute way. If you're enjoying the book review, I talk about books every single week. I often enjoy talking about book adaptations just because there are so many great shows and movies that are created from books but if you're having a great time consider subscribing and let's get into the number one biggest thing that is different in the books from the show the book has so much more history and i think they could have included it in the show and i would be curious to see if maybe they did record it but they like had to cut it because they needed to keep an episode at a certain length or whatever like the show takes us down this weird tailspin where villanelle goes and sees her mom and her family and all this stuff which is cool absolutely phenomenal the books are so different from the actual show but let me tell you about a book that was spot on from the book adaptation to the film and that is the book where the crawdads sing okay so take a look at this review here and i'll see you in the next one <laughs> 